Let me show you how to connect Xpayments 2.1 to Xcard 4, also known as Xcard Classic. First of all, we need to configure a payment gateway at Xpayments dashboard, payment configuration section. Choose a payment gateway you are going to use in this drop down select box and click Add. Enter all the configuration parameters needed and make sure you enable this payment configuration. Then go to Settings Online Stores. Click Add New Store. Specify store name, store title, and orders prefix. Now set templates to be used by Xcard. The first one is for desktop based shoppers. Just select the one that suits your online checkout routine best of all. Then set up template for mobile shoppers and template for shoppers who have 3D secure protection enabled. Enable one or more payment integrations from the list of configured gateways. Click Save. Please do not forget to enable your shop in Xpayments dashboard. Now it is time to copy so called configuration bundle. Just click the copy button in connection section. Ok, it is time to finalize connection at Xcard dashboard now. Go to settings Xpayments connector. In all the Xcard 4 versions, it can be found at modules as Xpayments connector module. Great, we see Xpayments connector welcome page. Just click next here. Paste the configuration bundle copied from Xpayments dashboard earlier and click Deploy. We are almost done. Payment methods have been imported from Xpayments and all you need to do is to enable them. Let's have a quick look at other Xpayments connector settings. Connection settings have been imported at previous step and there is nothing needed to be changed. At Save Credit Card Setup section you can specify what Xpayments payment method to use to let your shoppers save their credit cards in their front-end profiles as well as set authorization amount for such transactions. Order statuses mapping rules lets you match Xpayments transaction statuses with Xcard order statuses. After all the configuration, you will see Xpayments payment methods at setting payment methods page of Xcard dashboard. That's it.